Take me through just your, your early days at the station. Just what was it like at, at WREX at the time? Uh, well, I moved to Rockford from North Central Minnesota, so this was a big city for me. Um, I started at WREX and basically lived at the station. Um, the station, my coworkers were my family, um, and they stayed that way for the whole 13 years I was there. It's so crazy to think that I know people all over the country now because so many people and faces have worked there and moved on to either bigger markets or stayed local here in Rockford. Yeah, how neat is that to just kind of see the different journeys that people who have started at WRX have gone on? Yeah, it's been really cool. Um, back in, in my day, I say, you can really see my gray hair, uh, you had to uh, shoot on tape, yeah, videotape, and then edit from that videotape to other videotapes. So now it's, it's much more streamlined and everything's digital. So I don't want to say that it's easier now, but back in the day, it was very heavy equipment lugging it to and fro. Yeah, yeah, I remember tape to tape and back <laughs> in the day. Uh, <laughs> I would edit it in the car sometimes, yeah. you know, I had the mobile deck at my old station in North Carolina. I had the tape to tape, I'd be driving, coming the old back from football live games. Trucks. And, you yeah. have to tune into the signal, be like, I can't get her. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> now, now they just got the backpacks that uh, do everything. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. So, yeah, just technology, it's, it, it's changes so much. Just, I'm sure it changed in your, you know, 13 years at, at WREX and just to, to see Think about what it was like 70 years yeah. ago when the station started to where it is now. But you know, some things never change, like the news. It's always been a really good, solid news market. Um, the local leaders here have always been really easy to work with and very approachable and always willing to do interviews with the media. So that was something that I really loved about the community then and still now today. Yeah, what uh, what are some of your favorite memories or, or stories that you, you covered from, from oh, your time? Gosh, in... Over the years, there have been a lot of, I've met so many people in this community, it's been great. One of the biggest stories I think I covered in my time was um, the trial for William Buck. He was the individual who murdered Rockford Police Detective Kevin Rice back in August of 2001. He went to trial and was convicted for his murder. It was a very lengthy, thorough trial, and um, that, was, that was one of the biggest stories I think I ever covered in our community. And then another one that was a really good memory for me was being sent to downtown Chicago to cover um, former President Barack Obama's first run for U.S. Senate. He ended up winning the race that day, and I was the last interview of the evening for him. He was so cool. It was just really nice to meet him, and he was so willing to work with all the media. There were media there from all over the state of Illinois, and I was the very last reporter that he had to do an interview with, but he didn't seem to mind. He was very friendly and approachable, so that was cool. Yeah, you get to do a lot of, a lot of neat things when you're in this uh, business, right? Yeah, you do. You meet so many people. You know that. Mm -hmm. I mean, and just to hear their stories and be able to share those stories. One of the most um, touching stories I think I ever covered was a baby who was born um, deaf and he got a cochlear implant and I was there the first time he heard his mom talk. It was a surreal experience, a tearjerker for me as a mom, um, and it was just, just an incredible story to be able to share with the community. Yeah, those are the kinds of things that, that really stick with you, right? Yeah. Another thing that sticks with me <laughs> was uh, when I was pregnant with my son, uh, my water broke at the station <laughs> in the bathroom during the noon show. So that's always something that I'll remember and I still tell people about to this day. Oh, I was like, I'm going to drive myself to the hospital and like, Katie, you can't drive. And I'm like, hey, I'm fine. I mean, I've driven to crime scenes. I've driven to fires. I'll be fine. They didn't let me drive. They drove me to the hospital, and I was worried about getting my car afterwards. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> all went well. I had a healthy baby boy. So we need that. We need that both <laughs> yeah. Could you just write that package for us before <laughs> I'll, you go? I'll edit it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just read over your script real quick before I go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was pretty much it. I was like, hey, sorry to say, guys. They're like, what? In the middle of the noon show? I'm like, I, I, I can't stay. <laughs> That's incredible. It was pretty crazy. Huh. I was like, thank God it didn't, ha thank God it happened in the bathroom. Like, yeah. not somewhere. <laughs> not <on set. laughs> yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, that was a close one. <laughs> um, and then just the... Um, Think about just, you mentioned it kind of this, the relationships that you form mm -hmm. with people. That's a, a kind of a unique thing to, to, especially small market newsrooms, right? Yeah, there is nothing like it. There is absolutely nothing like it. I know a lot of people work at wonderful places, and I love my coworkers today, but the coworkers that I had, 
uh, working in a small market television station are like family. Like I said, I still keep in touch with many of them today and people are kind of scattered all across the country, but we still manage to keep up with one another and it's, it's just wonderful to see how everybody's grown and changed in their careers. Um, I know there was a, a tough time for us when Jeannie Hayes passed away. Just um, what, did, what did she mean to, to you and to the, to the community here? Oh, I was hoping you weren't going to ask yeah. about Jeannie, but of course that is one of the worst memories that I have during my time at WREX. Um, there, was, there was no one like her. You would never meet a brighter, shinier, smilier star. She's still very, very, very much missed, and um, I think about her almost every day. It was, it was a wonderful place to work. Um, I enjoyed my time at WREX. Um, I wish the station all the well wishes in its 70th year and beyond.